WordPress. And it's gonna be very, very simple. I think this video is gonna take like five to eight minutes, something like that, doing this. Um, and this is very important if you're starting your business and you need to get like emails and names from people that you actually want to sell something in the future or, or maybe send some uh, email blast about your blog or whatever your business is. But it's very important that you need to have an email database, okay? And actually MailChimp will help you with that. And I'm gonna show you how is it, it how is it it is, okay? Now, uh, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna install the MailChimp uh, plugin. So I'm gonna go to plugins, click on add new. All right, so I'm gonna search for MailChimp, just like that. Okay, and this is the one that I want, uh, MailChimp for WordPress. I'm gonna click on install now. All right, everything is looking good. I'm gonna activate, activate my plugin. All right, and you're gonna get a message saying uh, to get started with MailChimp, MailChimp for WordPress, you need to enter an API key. I'm gonna click there. All right, and as you can see, we are not connected yet because we need to add the API key right here. All right, so I'm gonna go to my MailChimp uh, dashboard right here. And what I'm gonna do, I need to find that API. So I'm gonna click on my name right here and click on account and scroll down. Uh, okay, right here on extras, click right there. And here we can see API keys, click right there. All right, scroll down a little bit. And here you go, I have some API keys already, but if you don't have API keys right here, you can click here and create a new one. That's not a problem. I create a new one right here. So I'm, all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select all this, copy, go back to my, to my MailChimp plugin and paste it right here, okay? Make sure anyone, uh, you know, I, I'm showing this API key right now, but I'm going to disable it. Um, this is only for testing. I am not using this for, for my business or my personal uh, website. So uh, make sure that you don't show this key to anyone, okay? I'm gonna click Save Changes. All right, now we are connected. Awesome. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna see, scroll down a little bit, and here I have one list. I'm gonna go back to my MailChimp uh, dashboard. I'm gonna click on List. And yeah, I have one list on my MailChimp account with zero subscribers, I don't have none. And I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna go to my sign up forms. I'm gonna click on general forms. All right, scroll down a little bit. And this is my form right now that I want to use. Right, so if you go back to WordPress and click on my on, on your form, you can see that we have those fields available, the same one that I have here on, on my MailChimp. They are available right here. I'm gonna remove this website field. I don't want it, so I'm gonna click here in this minus symbol. They want you to write delete to confirm, right? Okay, that's all I want. I want email, first name, last name. That's all I want. Going back to my MailChimp on WordPress. Let's click on renew MailChimp list. All right, let's scroll down, click on my list. And as you can see, uh, the website field is not here now. Awesome, because this is all I need, okay? Now, 
I'm going to go to my forms right here. Right? And as you can see, I have my first name, last name, email, and the submit button right here. Awesome. This is perfect. If you don't have, let's say I don't have these things, right? For example, let's say that your form is like that. No problem. Just let, uh, let's say I want the first name right here. I'm going to click here on first name because you have these things available for your form. First name, right? In my placeholder, I want first name. Okay. Yes, this field is going to be required. And click on add form. And that's it. It's right here. Now, in here, I want to add the last name. So I'm going to click here on last name placeholder last name is required oh you know what last name is optional so let's leave it like that add form and there you are you have your first name last name email and the submit button perfect now I am done so I'm going to save the changes okay the form is saved and now they provide me with this chart code which is awesome and very easy to add on your website so I'm gonna copy this and let's see how my home page is looking right now okay so this is my home page I'm using 2016 uh, theme by WordPress It's a very simple theme that um, it's very helpful helpful if you want to learn more about themes and stuff so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add right here below this uh, content my form so people can subscribe okay I'm gonna click on edit this page all right and right here I'm gonna copy I mean I'm gonna paste my short code provided my by MailChimp right that simple I'm gonna update my page okay and let's see how it looks scroll down a little bit and there you go it's looking perfect beautiful now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna test it my name Jose Vermont and I eat websites at gmail.com and I'm gonna click sign up it's gonna say thank you for thank you your sign up request was successful please check your email inbox to confirm okay MailChimp is going to send an email to that person and they can they can confirm that they want to be uh, added to your list okay now I'm gonna go to wait for the uh, confirmation of this email and then I'm gonna go back to MailChimp and take a look if the email is added to my list one or two minutes later my subscription was confirmed and I'm here on my MailChimp dashboard I'm gonna go to my lists and as you can see here, I have one subscriber. I'm going to click on my, on my list name. And as you can see here, I have the email. I have the name, the first name, and I have the last name. Actually, you can see a uh, date added and a last changed. And this is it. Simple as this, you can have uh, 100,000 emails or 1 million emails. Uh, you can have it right here and that's the process simple as that I hope this helps and if you want to keep learning guys remember I'm posting one video every week okay thank you for watching guys see you next week